Hi fourth graders, it's Mr. Wedge and today we're going to sketch a gothic cathedral. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my name on the back. And then once you have your name, whatever your class code is, 4 dash something. Okay? Flip it over. And I like to start with the ground when I draw a building. I just put a horizontal line near the bottom. And then I can build on that line. So gothic cathedrals are very tall and they point up at the sky. So I might start with two straight lines that go up like this. And oftentimes you'll see towers. You might see two towers. So maybe these are towers right here. And then I'll connect them right here. And Gothic cathedrals have a lot of decoration on them. This was a time in history when people put a lot of uh, ornament on their buildings. And it sounds like, you know, what you'd hang on a Christmas tree. Um, it's the same idea. It's like you're putting things all over it to decorate it. So you could put any kind of pattern up here. Um, you could put patterns on top of patterns. Um, on top of the towers, we were not just going to make them flat. Notre Dame Cathedral is a famous Gothic cathedral in Paris, France. Um, and it's just flat on top. But I'm going to do spires because that's more often what you'd see. And these are just tall, pointy, you know, cones usually. And you could cut them like this. Um, something you see on Gothic cathedrals a lot are gargoyles. So we could draw some gargoyles coming out. And they're just like little stone monsters. But they were also used for water spouts. So you could put like a face on them. This is, this is really small. It's really detailed. And the gargoyles in real life are as big as us. But this whole building is huge. It's hundreds of feet tall, so I'm drawing the gargoyles kind of small. But that's another little ornament or decoration on your Gothic cathedral. And you could put patterns in here for the roof. Maybe I'll fill this with a pattern. These might be stone tiles or something. Um, we need a door to get in, but first I might put some stairs. Just some steps going up. And then I'm going to draw a door, but it's got a specific shape. It's, it's called a pointed arch, and that, or a gothic arch. So it's pointy at the top. It's really shaped like that. And that comes from Islamic arches. Um, so that, um, here's what happens. In, when Christianity began, they worshipped one god and uh, Muslims did too. And for a long time, Christian churches looked like Roman buildings, but the problem was Romans worshiped lots of gods, so they didn't want their, uh, Christians didn't want their churches to look like buildings that people that worshiped lots of gods looked like, so they kind of started kind of more imitating Islamic style buildings. Um, Islam came later, but they still kind of, they kind of traded off ideas for a while. But anyway, here's the door, but it's like a, it's a pointed arch. And I'm putting like, not just one door frame around it, but a lot of them. You know, so you can just make it as fancy as you want. So there we go. Uh, the windows are the same way. They'd be flat on the bottom, straight on the sides, but kind of curve in and be pointy. So an arch is just a round top to something, but these are not just, they're not like, they're not like a triangle, and they're not round either. They're kind of a rounded point. So that's what a gothic arch is. And so these would be covered in gothic arches. And you can put the windows wherever you want as long as they're symmetrical. So you want it the same on both sides. Right in the middle on a gothic cathedral, you'd often see some, a big round window called a rose window. And that's another uh, unique feature on a gothic cathedral and these are symmetrical too and this is called radial symmetry because it's the same not just if you split it in half that's symmetrical right if they're the same on both sides and you split it in half radially symmetrical means if you split it in any direction it's the same on all sides so or on both halves so there's a rose window it's called you could put a bunch of frames around that too um, I'm going to add more windows. You can put shapes inside your windows. You can split your building up into sections. Um, you can put more gargoyles coming out. Just keep adding little details and things. 
Um, I could add more bumps just like I did right here. A little decoration on top. Um, I could put a foundation. Oh, here's another uh, unique thing. So these windows are very, uh, these buildings are very tall. They're all made out of stone. And they've got lots of stained glass windows in them. And uh, so if you've got a super tall building that's made out of stacked up stones and a lot of it's glass, it's not very strong. And so they used to make these things called buttresses that would go up against the side of the building to hold it. But the problem is that would kind of cover up the wall so then you wouldn't have as much light for the stained glass windows. So they, they figured out a way to make the buttresses coming out to hold up the building and those are called flying buttresses so if you have you know maybe if there's another part of the building like this a flying buttress is actually it kind of looks like this it might slope down for the rainwater to come off and then it would come down like this and then this part would be curved kind of like that so this is all stone right here and this is just air so it's just like a it's almost like an arm reaching out and holding up the building kind of thing and uh, they're buttresses because they go on the side and they hold up the building but they're not actually connected to the building right here it's all open so it's called a flying buttress so that's a unique thing on gothic cathedrals so stained glass windows um, you know stone tiles on the roof rose window pointed arches gargoyles flying buttresses those are all important things I'm going to keep going and I'm going to color my windows in too. I added more features and I put some little details and uh, put frames around the windows. These buildings are made out of stone so I'm going to shade mine in gray. And I'll probably color in the windows. And now I'm going to add some color. I'm going to use colored pencils, but you can use whatever you want. You don't have to color or shade in your drawing, but um, that's a, uh, something you can do if you want to add stuff. I just think it makes it look cool. Anyway, that's a Gothic cathedral. Just put some of the parts in. Work hard, have fun.